thank you uh, very much. Good evening uh, to you all. Uh, I've just had a very good exchange of views with the members of the European uh, Council. Uh, you have a copy of, uh, of the speech that I gave, a little bit more uh, detail. Uh, the scenes uh, in Ukraine are very difficult to witness, and while we hoped and worked to promote a process of de-escalation, our fears and warnings were tragically uh, realized this morning. Uh, President Putin has unleashed uh, war uh, in Europe. And the message uh, I had, uh, and the Parliament has uh, passed to the heads of state or government, has been very clear. Uh, what has to emerge tonight is that the European Union and its member states will continue to act in unison, that we have the political will and the strategic capacity to stand up to the threat posed by Russia, and that we will not leave Ukraine alone that we show solidarity with Ukraine. Doubt, fear and uh, instability are part of Putin's arsenal and our shields must be our fundamental principles, our determination and our solidarity with Ukraine and among member states. The fact is that this was not our making. We did not provoke and we did not start a new war on our continent. But confronted with this brutal provocation, we must show our populations, our neighbours and the world that the right thing to do is also the sensible thing to do. And the price for breaking all international legal and moral agreements must be extraordinary. So the European Parliament calls on Putin to immediately stop the aggression. The European Parliament calls for new, swift and severe sanctions and the European Parliament calls for increased assistance to Ukraine and European readiness to absorb humanitarian suffering. Okay. I'll take any questions you have now. Thank you very much. Yes, please, Laura. Uh, hi, this is uh, Laura Zornoza from the Spanish News Agency. In the run-up to the summit, uh, different leaders have expressed different views on how strong the sanctions package should be tonight. Uh, some have said that uh, it should go all the way and not save anything for the future, and others have suggested to, for example, leave SWIFT out. What's your uh, view on, on how strong the package should be? Do you think that there's something that should be left for any other trigger from Putin? Thank you. For, for, for the European Parliament, it's very clear, as it has been very clear uh, in, in the past and in the run-up to today, uh, even before the events we witnessed today, uh, that the sanctions have to be swift and severe. Uh, they have uh, to also leave nobody uh, off the table. So position is clear, nothing off uh, the table. And this is why... Uh, I conveyed the position of the European Parliament in this regard. We had uh, very good discussions with the leaders. The concern was shared uh, and the dangers that uh, uh, Ukraine uh, is exposed to, as we are seeing uh, from also this morning and all the, the, the footage that we are seeing coming in, requires the quickest and the swift, swiftest of reactions. Next question, Lorenzo. So News. Uh, it's, it's a little bit of follow-up of the um, uh, question of my colleague. Uh, do you think that energy should be among the sanctions decided tonight, uh, or that it's better to keep a margin for more sanctions in case the situation goes even worse, for instance, with an occupation of the country? Thanks. First of all, uh, I think uh, you know, what we were worried about happened uh, today, uh, even though all efforts uh, were made to de-escalate, to deter, uh, with messages that were already very strong and with positions that were taken that were already very uh, strong. So without uh, speculating on the, on the outcome of tonight's discussions between uh, the heads of state or government, I can very much uh, say that uh, we would like, as a European Parliament, for the strength, the strongest possible sanctions and messages 
to go out tonight. Uh, it is already, I would say, uh, too late. It is already, I would say, after the unthinkable happened in our Europe, in our neighbourhood, on our territory. Next question, please. This is Shandor from Euronews. I would like to hear your opinion because now we know more or less what kind of behaviour uh, is Russia having. How do you see the EU's long-term uh, strategy towards Russia? How should we deal in the long term with this country? Thank you. Yeah, I think we should not be under uh, any illusion uh, that uh, the, the attacks that are ongoing of today, they go to the very heart of what we know as a European model of democracy. Uh, and that is exactly what uh, Putin is afraid of. Uh, he would like to turn back the clock, so to speak, on such uh, democratic models. He would like to undo this model because he is afraid of openness, uh, accountability and freedoms. And our Europe is one of values, it is one of laws, it is one of rules, and therefore no aggression should go unanswered. And that is definitely uh, the position of the Parliament that I conveyed and uh, the position that was shared in all my conversations with the leaders tonight. Next question. Further questions? Vous avez encore des questions? Il y a une question de Vincenzo Genovese uh, via TV. Vincenzo. We cannot hear you, Vincenzo. Can you hear me now? Yeah, now it's fine. Okay, thank you. Good evening, Madam President. Vincenzo Genovese from the Italian newspaper L'Inchiesta. Uh, on Tuesday, there will be an AP uh, extraordinary plenary. Uh, I would like to ask you, a part of a strong condemnation, what can the European Parliament do in order to, to deter the, the Russia actions? Thank you. Thank you uh, very much, Vincenzo, for this uh, question. First of all, uh, this is a plenary that is being organised with the plans also on following up what happens today uh, with the strongest possible of uh, resolutions. It is also something that I spoke about with the Speaker, the President of the Ukrainian Parliament uh, earlier uh, today uh, with regards to enhanced cooperation between our parliaments. First message, this threat cannot go unanswered. We need to work with the other institutions, with the other member states and other partners to strongly respond to uh, the Russian aggression. Uh, this is what I came here today in order to convey uh, the support of the European Parliament for the measures that uh, we uh, look to the members of the European Council to take. But beyond that, uh, the role of the European Parliament is dual. First of all, it is the political side of it, the support and the legitimacy that only 705 directly elected members of the European Parliament can give. Uh, so, as you can see, uh, what we did when we worked on implementing measures that were taken, whether they were financial, in the energy field, or on disinformation, uh, the Parliament has a very uh, strong say also in its role as co-legislator. And to link up with the previous question on, on energy, uh, I, I also wanted to, to make it very clear that we need to move away from a situation where countries uh, are, are totally reliant on uh, Russian uh, gas. Uh, we need to make sure, and if there ever was a pretext for us to take, uh, to take our climate ambitions to the next level, to diversify our energy mix, then this is, I would say, uh, the opportunity that must be taken by this continent uh, to do so. So also in this area, as co-legislator, the Parliament will be at the forefront of making sure uh, that we adopt uh, the uh, most ambitious uh, packages that uh, uh, we have always been at the forefront for. So this is why we have called uh, for an extraordinary plenary uh, of the European Parliament, uh, and I, I expect that the members will adopt a resolution uh, in support uh, of Ukraine uh, and also for the decisions that we are expecting uh, and we will have uh, tonight and over the next days. This morning, in fact, we had uh, a first thing, a meeting between all the leaders of the political groups with uh, President von der Leyen and President Michel, and this was specifically what we discussed. What the Parliament can do 
you how the Parliament can help and how the Parliament will help. Uh, and as a newly elected leader of this institution, this is my commitment to do exactly that.